It's listed at four ninety nine. Five dollars. The exact one listed on Etsy for two hundred and twenty five dollars. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Rad Visas. I'm Natalie, and I'm Will. And in today's video, we're gonna hit up Goodwill, buy things cheap, sell it high online for a profit. So let's go. Just pulled up at Goodwill. <laughs> we are here to buy things cheap, sell it high online for a profit. Come along. To the jeans, one of my favorite spots to hit first. It's always bare at the jeans here. Yeah, sometimes they come through with something. Another new rack pulled up. Oh, 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 grabbing those car hearts. Oh, Orvis, five pocket pants, corduroy. Did you go all the way to the end? No, no, no. Oh. What is that? Orvis fleece line flannel snap front buttons. Definitely gotta look that up. It's very nice. Double X. What's this hoodie? No, Port and Company. <laughs> Then I pulled out this super cool Robert Graham button shirt and it already sold on Poshmark. Robert Graham, crazier the design, the better. After we're done with the new rack, we moved to a different spot so that other people can have more space to go through the new rack as well. Let's see what Will found from the new rack. We got some Carhartt Relax Fit Cargo Pocket Shorts. Should be an easy 2025 for these guys. It's yeah. Like a thicker like, material. Yeah, like a soft canvas. Then we have another pair of Carhartt Relax Fit 38 by 34. These ones, okay, they got an extra little pocket here. We don't pick up the plain khaki ones. Hmm. Uh, th these ones we're actually gonna probably look up. Yeah, by the exact model. Plainer side. Yeah, you can look at the model by the uh, code or code. I always call it code. I don't even know what it's called. Like model number model or style. Number? Oh code. yeah, that's a good number. Yeah, right Same there. Thing right here. I'm assuming this is around twenty dollars, and then that Orvis find. These we've sold a few pairs of these before. Orvis five pocket pants. These ones are corduroy, so I'm gonna look them up and just to confirm the comps. From what I remember, the old ones I think that we sold sold for like twenty five, but these are really nice. Look at that back patch, and then I had the uh, Robert Graham shirt. Not all Robert Graham are pickups. You gotta look for the crazier prints. And if it's a limited edition, those are really good. But it's a 2XL, so very good size, classic fit. They're also, oh, he is also known for having flip cups. So if you flip it, it's got a different design. This one is kind of boring on the flip side. I like it. It's like geometric. True. It sort of goes against the flowers. Yeah, I don't even know how I would describe this. It's like a drawing flower. I looked this up, probably $25. Nice, that was a good new rack. New rack. <laughs> the new racks came through because we had nothing. Oh, haha. -ha. Just chilling at the end here. We got the North Face. Looks like a pair of women's lounge wear pants they look like the lululemon dancer pants the dance yoga pants gotta look these up size large women's lightweight stretchy those are cute i mean that little pocket that zipper pocket gives us lululemon vibes i wish these were my size they look so nice to lounge around in so comfy this is cute oh it's a little coin what is he looking at? Oh my god. Alright, check this out. What is that? This thing is old. It's I was looking it up. I did a Google search for it. And it turns out this thing is a candle holder. Alright, it's made of brass. 
It's listed at four ninety nine. Five dollars. Found the exact one listed on Etsy for two hundred and twenty five dollars. <gasps> now what sucks is usually people with these candles holders they want two or more. Oh. So it's just a single guy, but it is made of brass. I looked on eBay. There is tons of these sold. I, I guess that's in right now. Like this thing is beautiful. It's big. Over your knees. Yeah. Now, Stand next to it. It's almost up to your hip. I know. Is uh, it heavy? It's decent. Oh, wow. For $5, Dang. I still think we take a chance on this. You ever see like the warriors going in the battle? Stop. <laughs> We're in public, Will. <laughs> okay, it could be a really cool find. It'd be really cool if the other one just showed up. Yeah, right? So right here is an item me and Natalie wouldn't even look twice at, uh, but I seen that tag made in USA dry clean and it reminded me of the font that is used on a certain brand called Pendleton. This blazer is 100% pure virgin wool, nice different colors here. And then what I do like is it has those elbow patches there. There was close to about a 50% sell through rate and I found the exact one, the exact one sold for $50 plus shipping with, oh geez, and I spot the little hole there. So I will not be picking this up, but however, I definitely would have taken a chance if it was in perfect condition. So a little update on the Carhartts that we were going to look up because they were not the carpenter pants. I looked it up by Carhartt, 10.22.91, and there, it's actually more sold than they are listed which is always something that we're on the lookout for. However, the value was low as expected. It ranges from 15 to $25, but mostly in the 15, 20 area. So we're just gonna put these back as the profitable margin is just not good enough for us. If you enjoy our content, go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And it does really support our channel and we really, really appreciate that. Just tons of brands that we don't pick up. Fancy color. Oh, but then we have a Tommy Bahama 100% silk all over print Hawaiian shirt. These are automatic pickup. I know it's not the season. But during the summertime, these are easy $25. We are specific though, it has to be 100% silk and we are looking for the all over print. Just nothing boring like one color. And size large, we stay away from the smaller sizes like small, medium and smaller. I will grab that. Then we have a Polo Ralph Lauren Polo long sleeve. These are not a pickup in terms of reselling. However, this one's really nice. I'm gonna ask if Will wants to try this one on. And don't forget about yourself, guys. Oh, Travis Matthew with a surf club logo. We used to pick these up. We used to sell these on Facebook for around $22, 2022. So they're not a lot of money, but it's a size large. And if it's clean, I might pick it up because we are not finding that much stuff lately. So we kind of got to fill up our inventory. I see a new rack that Natalie just went up to. Let's see if she gets any finds. But I did find one. It's a pair of Under Armour tactical pants. Rip stop. Pretty cool. Should yeah. be a pickup. I love the cross up there. Yeah, the tactical pants by Under Armour is like 25 30 if I remember correctly. So not bad. 49 Got one from the new record. <laughs> <laughs> then we headed over to the dressing room so we could try on the polo that I found him. It's nice. I think so too. Wow. $4.89. Wow, it's just really nice on the back toe. Very nice. Look at you. <laughs> All right, so this is our best friend, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, but 
the size is small, which is not good. You want bigger sizes because there's less people wearing smaller sizes. Had this been an XL, it would have been an automatic pickup. However, I'm still going to pick this one up despite it being a bad size because it's got the New York Mets logo embroidered. It doesn't even look worn and I looked up the comms and I knew there's barely gonna be comms if any and there's literally none listed but one sold and the one that sold was brand new for $61 obviously this one is used but I'm not gonna not pick it up I'm gonna post it up for maybe 28 another new rack pulled up and we of course went to it to see if we could find some more stuff to resell however not every new rack is gonna be a gold mine and this one was not all right guys that sums up today's thrifting video as always thank you for watching until the end of the video don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one you look kind of creepy <laughs> i don't think so